Question 29. Talil is going to make some concrete mix. He needs to mix cement, sand and gravel in a ratio 1 to 3 to 5 by weight. Notice we've got a little star next to the question here, so we're going to have to be able to justify our answers, maybe do a little bit of writing. Talil wants to make 180 kilograms of concrete mix. Talil has 15 kilograms of cement, 85 kilograms of sand, and 100 kilograms of gravel. Does Talil have enough cement, sand, and gravel to make the concrete mix? Okay, there are a couple of methods for doing this. The easiest one is to see if he has the right amounts at the moment using this ratio. So if we want a ratio of 1 to 3 to 5, where one part is the cement, we could make an assumption that one part means 15 kilograms. So if cement equaled 15, and this is part of our ratio of 1 to 3 to 5, then we would have to assume that this part, being our sand, would be 3 times 15, which equals 45. So this, for this would be sand. Do we have 45 kilograms of sand? Yes, we do. How about gravel? So gravel would be five parts of these 15 kilograms. Five times 15 gives us 75 kilograms. So we now have 15 kilograms of cement, which is what he has, so that's the most he could possibly put for his cement, which means to keep the same ratio of 1 to 3 to 5, he needs 45 kilograms of sand and 75 kilograms of gravel. Now, that would keep the ratio together, but what's the total? 15, add 45, add 75. Put all of those together and we get 60 plus 75 is 135 kilograms. He wanted to have 180 kilograms of concrete mix, so the answer is no. Why is the answer no? If there's a star, always make sure that you justify your answer. So he's only got enough cement to make 135 kilograms of the mixture. So if we put that to wording, he only has enough cement to make 135 kilograms of concrete. He's got leftover sand because he's got another 40 kilograms there. He's got another 25 kilograms of gravel but he doesn't have any more cement. So to keep this ratio the same, he hasn't got enough. And that is a clear enough explanation to give us our four marks.